Hey guys, my name is Chris. Thanks for taking the time today to check this video out. Uh, so pretty much not a day goes by without someone asking about some sort of head-up display adjustment, uh, whether it is the brightness, the rotation, the content that's up there, or shutting it off completely in some cases. Um, it, there's always a question about something relative to the head-up display. So what I'm going to do today is break that down and show you easily how to get that. So one thing to keep in mind, because this is a display menu that we need to go into, you can always use the intelligent personal assistant by pressing and holding that microphone in the lower right hand portion of your steering wheel. Once the assistant pops up, you can just very easily say head up display and it brings you right to that menu. But we're gonna do it the longer way so you can actually see how to get into that menu uh, from the home screen. So we're gonna go into those four uh, tiles there. Because again, it is a display, uh, we need to go into the uh, display menu, which is right up there. And all of the screens are displayed, are uh, showed right in this list here. We're gonna go into head up display. And the very first option that we have in the corner is to shut it off. So if you decide that it's just not right for you, maybe there's too much information or you just have no need for it, you can always toggle that off and it just disables everything uh, that comes under it. But let's actually go through uh, what is part of the head up display. So we have the height. So you can easily use the iDrive controller or your finger if you want to raise and lower the display. Keep in mind in our newer vehicles with iDrive 8.5 and 9, the head up display is quite large. Uh, it is much wider. It is much taller than it's ever been. Uh, there's a lot of different color variations that go there, and there's a lot of cool stuff that is displayed up there. So as you move it up and down, please keep in mind, unless you have it in a reduced mode, that you may be cutting off pieces of information that you're looking for. Oftentimes, people don't realize how much information that's actually up there these days, uh, because when you're driving, all you normally see is the speed limit, um, in your current speed you're driving. It's not until the turn-by-turn -turn navigation and the phone calls and the media, the radio, all this other stuff gets fed in there. They realize, well, <laughs> well hey, I'm actually seeing a fraction of what I should be seeing. Uh, so keep that in mind. The rotation is the next one. A very interesting option, uh, something that almost no one has ever done, at least in my experience, but I'm sure there's someone out there that's done it. As you move this up and down, it literally takes a display and it twists, twists it left and right. I'm not exactly sure, to be honest with you, why you'd want this. Um, I have yet to come across a customer asking for this, saying that they need it tilted one way or the other. It is very cool and it's very interesting to kind of see that it does it. But from a, from a practical standpoint, I just haven't had enough people uh, with um, actual reasons to use this. The brightness, uh, that's pretty self-explanatory, how bright or dim you want this. You can always dial this up, you can bring it down. Um, I always like to have it the brightest, actually. It depends on the car, to be honest with you, because uh, some iDrive 7 cars, I put it up all the way, uh, just because I find that to be helpful. But uh, we're in a brand new uh, 7 Series right now, and I have it up all the way. It is much brighter. At least it seems like it's much brighter than any iDrive 7 car. Uh, so I don't necessarily know if I would have it as bright as I would uh, in our older models. Show my modes content automatically. So if you've been in a new BMW uh, with this head-up display, you have definitely seen the sport graphics, the efficient graphics, um, pop up automatically when you go into those different driving modes. Um, if you haven't, go to your local BMW center, go into a car, go to my modes, press sport, press efficient, and see what you think. You're either gonna have, you're, you're probably gonna have a strong opinion. Either you love it or hate it. 
There's a reason why this is a standalone button to shut that off. Some people just don't like those additional graphics when you are in those particular driving modes. And this is how you shut them off. I am one of those people, by the way. I This is one of the first things I do is I shut that off because it drives me crazy. Because it, it puts something up there that I just find distracting and I, I, can't, I can't appreciate the reason that it's there. Uh, so it's just not for me. Uh, going under the display location for lists and messages. So this is saying, look, so when we go into our radio stations, when we go into information, the intelligent personal assistant, all of the sorts of things that's going to visually be represented, it needs to go on a certain display. So do you want that to be on the instrument cluster or do you want that to be in the head up display? Uh, it is much cleaner being in the head up display, I'll say, because when things like the intelligent personal assistant pop up, you're not gonna have these bubbles show all over the display and all this other stuff. It does show in the head up display. And when I am driving, I do find it's pretty convenient to have it kind of on the road in front of me. I don't know, instead of down here, it helps keep me focused on the road. I personally like it in the head-up display, but I know of plenty of people that have pushed it down to the instrument cluster uh, just to be a little bit easier. So again, my name is Chris. Hopefully this has been helpful of how to adjust uh, various uh, elements inside of the head-up display. Uh, please make sure you check out the links down below. One of them is to the Chris's uh, Beam Restore front on, in Amazon. A lot of uh, good BMW products and accessories I use in my cars, I recommend for you. Uh, that's all there. Please keep in mind any purchase from the storefront Chris's Beamers does earn commission on. Uh, please subscribe so you can always stay up to date with the latest content. And as always, stay healthy and safe out there.